Okay, bartender, hit me again. <laughs> Here alone? What do you say? Want to come with me after this? Thank you. Hey, that was cold. You didn't have to ignore me. You really shouldn't involve yourself with me. Huh? See, I told you not to get involved. Check in again tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow. I bet they'll be magically cleaned up. Huh? That's probably because I clean them up. Well, that's another way of putting it. Uh, sheesh! Oh. Hurry and clean up already! Oh, okay, fine. Jeez, what's with you? Did your parents raise you to respect your elders? That's not what I meant by that. Just, oh! Hey, you! Oh! Hey. Oh, Dante, you jerk! We'll forget you! Hey, is Pat? <laughs> Made her mad again, huh? Shut up. What do you want here anyway? If you're gonna clean up, you're more than welcome to pick up the mop. You want somebody to do that? Hire a maid. You can use the pay for this job. I'd like to hire you to watch over this for a while. Hey, Morrison, isn't this more of a job for the coin lockers at the train station downtown? Come on, don't be so hasty. See, this is a historic heirloom that's been passed down in Miss Nina's family for generations. This pendant is priceless. She says that she inherited it when her old man died. And then in the ten years since, those who want it are out for her blood whenever they smell a chance. Hmm. Ten years. Why do you suddenly want to give it to someone after that long? Well, the attacks weren't so frequent up until now. But lately she's targeted all the time, and she's frequently been a danger. So it's time for you to step in. Hmm. Would you take this job for me? 
I don't want to hear any stupid answers, partner. Sure, all right. I wasn't doing much this week anyway. I'll take on the job for you. That jerk Dante. He just has no delicacy. Jeez, he doesn't have any parents either. today? I'm always alone, Cindy. You know that. Now, now. Girls that age get hurt real easily. Hurry up and apologize to Shorty and make friends again. <laughs> it's not really any of your business. How about you just roll over there and bring me the usual, will ya? Okay. Now let's take a look at this. Why the long face? If you've got the time to sit here grumbling into your Sunday dish, go do some work. You still haven't paid back all you owe me. I'm doing work right now. What's this? A pendant. I can see that, you big dumbass. I'm asking you, what's with this pendant? I'm its bodyguard. No, necklace guard, I guess. <laughs> Dante, that wasn't funny. Thanks for waiting. Really be that value? What's with you? Well, this is one thing I can't let you turn into payment on that debt. So it's hands off, lady. As if I'd take it. Keep in mind, it's not yours. Got hey. it! Even I'm not that evil to take something away from your poor broke ass. Let's see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, work hard and pay me back soon. Later. Nice. This just isn't right. It's too late to say that. You've already handed it over to him. We just have to watch over him and see what happens. I did what you told me because you said... You said that he could handle it, but... It was getting too risky. I didn't want to let you face any more danger. And it is true. He is a man we can trust. If only I could just carry that pendant around a little longer, I would have the power to defeat lower-level demons, and I won't be so powerless. Yes, I know that. But there are no guarantees your attackers will always be easy to defend against. True, but... Huh. It looks like it's begun. My magic stone? Do you mean this? Wait! What do you think you're going to do if you go out there? Please let me go! Nina, stop! Talking about you, ugly bastard. But it's way past your bedtime, and you need to get some shut up, shithead. Sweet dreams. <laughs> huh. 
Man, I thought I'd be able to have a little more fun there. What? My, my. If you came here to cheer me on, too bad. Things just ended. Well, you're pretty wicked, aren't you? By not telling me the whole story. And it wasn't a bunch of jewel thieves who were after your necklace. It was a bunch of demons. You defeated the demon? This type of thing is my specialty, you see. So, you gonna tell me who your buddy is? An old friend. My name is Simon. Simon's the one who told me about you. He told me there was an odd jobs man who would even protect a demon summoning pendant. But please give it back. I just can't let strangers be put in danger because of me. Sure thing. How about you pay me for the work I've done up until now? Yes, I'll pay you tomorrow. Fine. Then tomorrow's when I'll return this to you. All right. I'll come to your office tomorrow. Wait, Mommy! <sighs> mommy, wait! Patty? Just come to the office tomorrow like you always do. That woman you think who's your mother is supposed to show up with my pay. I know she's my mother! I know she is! <sighs> so you think you can take me any time, huh? Your conceit will be the death of you, Dante. <laughs> Come on, Patty. Just cheer up already and start cleaning. <laughs> Whatever. Never mind. Hmm. Man, she's really late. I thought I told her the right time. This new client better be trustworthy, Morrison. What are you saying? You trusted her enough to tell her to bring your pay here. That's not what I mean. And you know it. You're wondering whether she might be a demon herself. <laughs> I'll grant you that she just so happened to leave out the fact that the crew out for her priceless necklace were demons. This whole time, she seemed like a normal human to me. I mean, she's even renting a fancy hotel room here in the human world. All normal life. And what hotel would that be? The Grand Dia Hotel, if memory serves. <sighs> Please, don't make this place any more of a mess than it is. <sighs> You're not one to talk, Dante. <laughs> hey! What's with Patty? I thought she wanted to see Nina. Beats me, man. She probably remembered some soap opera or game show she wanted to watch. <laughs> She's a hopeless brat. <laughs> Dante, get the telephone. <sighs> Jeez, what a pain. Devil may cry. Oh, it's you. What are you saying? Are you sure about that? Of course. I came all the way out to the public library to confirm it. If you need them, I'll collect the references for you, too. Yeah, good idea. Thanks, I'm counting on you. Was that Nina? No, it wasn't Nina. It was more about Nina's necklace. Uh-huh. Hey, Morrison, what'd you do with the pendant? Huh? <laughs> Mommy! Simon, come in. Thanks. Perfect timing. I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? I'd like you to go to that odd job man's place now and get back the pendant in exchange for this pay. You can just go yourself. I don't want to go. Because that patty girl might be there, perhaps? <sighs> I can't be with her. You should know that. Yes. Yes, you're right. Oh, did you do something to your hand? Nothing, really. I just spilled some coffee this morning. But you said... I thought you told me you couldn't stand coffee. Huh. 
Was that right? You... That's strange. I can't imagine the book is that popular. My, what a surprise. I didn't realize demons study. <laughs> Unlike Dante, I have an avid thirst for knowledge. By the way, that book? Huh? What the hell is the deal? Never mind, just drive faster. You got it. <sighs> Are you awake? <laughs> Who are you? A good question. What do you want? What do I want? You should know that better than anyone else. But it only means anything to demons. <laughs> are you a demon? But if you are, the pendant should react to you. True, that stone reacts to the powers of demons. But when the demon's power is just too weak, it doesn't have much of an effect. My powers are extremely weak. I'm a demon with no power, as you can see, to take human form. I have to actually wear human skin. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I threw away all the insides. <laughs> That's how it is, Nina Lowell. Now, if I get the final part, your necklace, I'll have everything I need. <laughs> About the guest, let's reserve the suite. Hey! I'm telling you, we can't give out information about guests. So tell me, would you rather break some precious hotel policy of yours, or have a gigantic hole in your face? <laughs> now I guess it's about time to go pick them up. Pick them up? Don't play dumb with me. I know that necklace and your daughter. <laughs> I need both together or I can't complete the ceremony, right? I'm begging you, just leave Patty out of this. Oh, leave her out of this, huh? Well, you would want that. After all, that's why you have to part ways with your own daughter. <laughs> You are. You are really my mother. Patty, run away! You really are my mother, aren't you? Patty, never mind! Just run! <laughs> this is a happy surprise. I never imagined you'd bring that to me of your own free will. I guess that means luck has finally turned my way. <laughs> All right. Take the necklace and go stand in front of that altar. Patty, you mustn't listen to what this man... Uh, Mommy! You keep your mouth shut. Now uh, hurry up. Otherwise... No, Patty! Get a move on. That's it. Now all you have to do is place that necklace on the center of the altar. Hurry! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Hurry! Better stop! Okay, is this what you wanted? Will you let my mommy go then? It's here! It's here! <laughs> now, 
I can become a king of the demon world that surpasses even the four great demons. <laughs> What have we done? Mommy! Dante! What? What the hell's going on here? Dante! Never mind, Morrison. Just take these two and get away from the hotel. Hey, Dante, wait! While you're at it, do me one more little favor and get everybody else out of the hotel, too! As if I can get that many out at once! Dante! I don't care! Just evacuate everyone, quickly! I can't very well, just get... Get your ass in gear! <gasps> Unfortunately for you, I've gotten hold of Abigail's legacy. You're always screwing around behind the scenes pulling cheap tricks. And I've got to confess something to you, Sid. I'm really sick of seeing your face. How about we say our goodbyes? Goodbye, dickhead. <laughs> what did you think? I'd beg for my life or something? Fool. I'm different than I was before. I'll show you. I'll show you the power of Abigail, who once rivaled the Demon King. <laughs> what in the hell just happened? My god, it's over. The world as we know it is coming to an end. Don't you go dying on me, Dante. Everything with a beginning also has an end. That's the rule. It may be sad, but looking all gloomy just because it's the end isn't my thing. Since it's the end, all the more reason to paint the town red. If you do that, you can keep smiling no matter how things pan out. Next mission. Stylish.